Hello students, let's do percent exercise 11c questions 13 to 15. Found on page number 132. Question 13, evaluate. First one, 8% of 900 minus 12% of 750 plus 20% of 165. Okay, so let's start working out each one. So for convenience sake, I'm going to put brackets here and then start working each one. So 8% of 900 means 8 by 100 offers into 900, okay, minus 12% is 12 by 100 into 750 plus 20 by 100, percent is 100, okay, offers into 165. Now let's see if we can cancel some things. Okay, starting with the first bracket, I can cancel two zeros in 900 and two zeros in 100. So what is left? Eight nines are 72 by one minus, let's go to the next bracket. I can cancel one zero and one zero. Now I can cancel 10 and 75 by five. Five twos are 10. And then 5 into 15. 15 fives are 75. I can cancel 2 and 6. 2 ones are 2 and 12. 2 ones are 2 and 2 sixes are 12. So now I have 15 into 6. So how much is 15 into 6? Let's multiply and see. 15 into 6. 6 fives are 13. Carry 3. 6 ones are 6, 7, 8, 9. So now the second one is 90. Then 90 by 1. Denominator is 1. Now let's go to the third one. Third bracket. I'll cancel 1, 0. Now I have 2 and 10 which I can cancel again. 2 ones are 2. 2 fives are 10. I can cancel 5 and 165. So 165. Let's divide it by 5 to see what we get. 16 here, so 15 we can get. 5 threes are 15 minus. I bring down 5. Again, it is 3. 5 threes are 15 minus 33. So 5 into 33 will give me 165. So what do I have for the third one? I have plus 33 by 1. So that becomes 72 minus 90 plus 33. Now let's add the numbers which have the same sign. So this is plus 72. So plus 72 and plus 33, let's add it up. So 72 plus 33. 3 plus 2 is 5, 7 plus 3 is 10. I've got 105 which I can write here. So that becomes plus 105 minus 90. Now I need to minus 105 and 90. 105 minus 90. 5 minus 0 is 5. This is 0. 10 minus 9 is 1. So I get 15. So my answer to this question is 15. So this is my final answer. Next. 70% of 70 plus 90% of 90 minus 120 percent of 120. So let's once again put brackets so that we can solve our question easily. Now 70 percent of 70 will be 70 by 100 into 70. So this is my first bracket plus 90 percent means 90 by 100 of is into 90 minus 120 by 100 office multiplication into 120. Now let's cancel what we can. So I can cancel one zero here, one zero there, one more here and one more there. So what do I get in my numerator? Seven sevens are 49 by one. Let's go to the second bracket and cancel what we can. One zero and one zero, one more I can cancel. So what do I get? Plus 9 nines are 81 by 1 minus the third one. Cancel and cancel. 
cancel here and cancel there. So now we have 12 into 12. 12 12 is 144 by 1. Now we need to remove that 1 and see what we get. 49. 49 by 1 is 49. Plus 81 minus 144. So first let's add up these two. 49 plus 81. So that will be 49 plus 81. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 8 is 13. So that is 130. So we have got plus 130 minus 144. When signs are different, you can see a plus sign here and a minus sign. So when signs are different, we have to put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. So here we have to subtract. 144 and 130 minus 4 minus 0 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1 and 0, so that's 14. So the answer to this question is minus 14. So final answer minus 14. Next question. Approximately 97.3% of water on earth is not fit for drinking. So let's find first the percentage of water on the earth that is fit for drinking. So water on earth not fit for drinking is 97.3%. Then, so water fit for drinking, it says 100% minus 97.3. Percentage is always in 100, isn't it? So we take 100 minus 97.3. So what do we get? Let's subtract that and see. 100 minus 97.3. So this is decimal subtraction. So we need to make them like decimals by putting the zero there. And now let's do our subtraction. Zero minus three we can't. So we borrow all the way from here. So this is zero, 10, nine, 10, nine, and 10. 10 minus three is seven, nine, and then put the point. Nine minus seven is two, and nine minus nine is zero. So what does the water fit for drinking? 2.7%. Only this much of water is fit on earth for drinking. Now, the second part of the question. The total volume of water available in a certain part of the earth where there is 21,600 meter cube of drinking water. We need to find the total volume of water that is available. Okay, first step. Water fit for drinking in a certain place is given to us. Okay, uh, drinking water 21,600 meter cube. Total volume of water in this place is what we need to find out. That is 21,600 divided by 2.7%. We have to divide it by 2.7% because that is the water fit for drinking, which we found out in the previous question. Now let's solve this to 21,600 divided by 2.7 by 100 percentage, isn't it? So I've done 2.7 by 100, which is 21,600 into 100 by 2.7. Now my denominator is 2.7, so I have to make it a whole number 27 and I can do it only if I multiply it by 10. So I multiply this by 10 and I multiply the numerator also by 10. So in my next step I get 21,600 into 100 into 10 is 1000 and 2.7 becomes 27. Now we need to divide and cancel whatever we can. So let's divide 21,600 by 27. 21,600 divided by 27. 27 into 8. So let's do that. 27 into 8. 8 sevens are 56, carry 5. 8 twos are 16 plus 5, 21. So that is 216. So 27 into 8 is 216. So zero, and then we have two more zeros which we can put on top. So if I cancel this, I get 800. 
I've got 800. Now let me multiply 800. So this is cancelled. This is 1. Now when I multiply 800 into 1000. So let's multiply 8 into 1. 8. Now count all the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Let's put the commas. That becomes 8 lakh. So the total volume of water in this place is 8 lakh meter cube. This is the total volume of water in this particular place. Okay, so this is my answer. Next question. Question 15. Air is an inexhaustible natural resource. It is essential for the survival of human beings, microbes, plants and animals. The following table shows the percentage of various gases in air. So we have a table. In the first column, we have contents of air. And in the second column, we have percentage by volume. Nitrogen is 78%, oxygen 21%, and all the other gases like carbon dioxide, inert gases, water vapor, etc. is 1. Now, what are we asked to find? In 800 meter cube of air, calculate the approximate quantities of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases. So, quantity of air given to us is 800 meter cube. This is the quantity of air. Now, to find the quantity of nitrogen, nitrogen we know is 78%. So, that will be 78 by 100 because it's percent and writing by 100. 78 by 100 into the quantity of air, that is 800. Now, cancel. Cancel two zeros and cancel two zeros. We have 78 into 8. Let's multiply. 78 into 8. 8 eights are 64, carry 6. 8 sevens are 56, plus 6 is 62. So the quantity of nitrogen in this air is 624 meter cube. Our next one, quantity of oxygen. In the table it says the quantity of oxygen, the percentage is 21. Using that, let's find the quantity. 21 by 100 into 800. So let's cancel again. Two zeros and cancel two zeros. So we have 21 into 8. 21 into 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 twos are 16. We have 168 as our answer. So the quantity of oxygen is 168 meter cube. Now we need to find out the quantity of other gases. According to the table, it's 1%. So 1 by 100 into 800. So let's cancel the two zeros here. 1, 2 and 1 and 2 on top. So now what we have left in the numerator is simply 1 into 8. 1, 8 is 8. 8 meter cube. So now we have found the quantity of nitrogen to be 624 meter cube, oxygen 168 meter cube and other gases 8 meter cube. So with this children, we have come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.